21 actors over our 19 years who have accepted this award. They prepared a path for all who succeed. This award is proof of a demanding commitment of energy, patience, time, will, and a passion to connect with the heart. Being a performer is certainly a challenge. They must be able to navigate emotions, conflicts, and intentions. They must understand psychology. They must understand societal status. They must understand how to adapt their body. Actors study and reproduce complex behavior in the most honest way they can. Great actors make it look effortless, but if you want proof of the challenges actors face, just attend one of our rehearsals, classes, or productions. Actors work in community. Every part is necessary to make the story whole. Since I fell in love with theater when I was 10, I knew it had to be part of my life. Telling a story honestly and passionately is at the center of my life. I have come to believe that training in the arts is primary to a young person's education. I'm so very grateful to all of our students, parents, and donors for this exciting journey we've been on since 1998. Tonight, we honor one special actor who has demonstrated the MacGuffin ethos. In her 10 years with MacGuffin, she's performed in 17 productions. She's won four Shakespeare Awards. She's taken tons of classes in summer camps. She's been a proud member of the Singing Bohemians for four years. She's played a wide variety of characters from her first production at eight years old in High School Musical 2 to her most recent performance at Celia in As You Like It. Here's a list of all the productions she's been in. High School Musical 2, War of the Words, Annie, The Cruel Sister, Guys and Dolls, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, The Sound of Music, Legally Blonde, Dodger, Chicago, The Tale of Ebenezer Scrooge, where she won Best Cameo, Pippin, Romeo and Juliet, Best Supporting Actor in a Play, A Chorus Line, <laughs> The Music Man, The World Goes Round, As You Like It. Before I bring her up here again, I have assembled a montage of some of her best work. Thank you so much, John. It's amazing to be standing here after almost 13 years. Outside of my family, few things have been as consistently present in my life as MacGuffin. Recently, I've had the experience of writing copious amounts of college application essays. I found that many of the questions asked me to reflect on defining experiences or special communities of which I was a part. And that question always led me back to the purple door on the second floor of the atrium. <laughs> I started taking classes at McGuffin when I was five or six years old, well before the purple door. The Saturday trips to the classrooms at Friends Select, I started acting classes because my sister was doing it. I couldn't, uh, I admit, I didn't love it at first. I was a really shy kid, painfully shy. I couldn't even talk loud enough to be heard. So you can imagine that the whole taking risks thing wasn't my idea of fun. But Liz made it feel safe. I had a place to dance and twirl around the room and declare my roses and thorns. And gradually, I started to feel like doing something crazy and risking embarrassment wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It could be a lot of fun. I started musical theater summer camp in 2008 with High School Musical 2. I learned about being part of an ensemble. I got to use what I learned from my classes. I learned about collaborating and about character. I made up this whole story about how I was a cheerleader during the school year, and I was friends with Sharpay and Ryan, so I hated Gabriella and Troy. <laughs> Ten years later, I remembered that character. I went on to do McGuffin summer camp for nine consecutive years and learned invaluable lessons from John, Liz, Joy, and all the other teachers that have worked at the summer camp over the years. McGuffin became my thing outside of school. I discovered my love for music, and musical theater became my favorite even when I wasn't sure I could do it. The theater is supposed to be this wonderful place of freedom and self-expression, but it's possible to get trapped in an idea of what you're supposed to be. Growing up in MacGuffin, I got to sing for musicals like You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and Wicked. I listened to the Legally Blonde and Mamma Mia soundtracks in the car. I witnessed so much talent, both at MacGuffin and watching professional theater, and these things all led me to believe that being able to communicate through music, well, musical theater was reliant on one skill. Belting. <laughs> as much as I wanted to be a successful belter, which was in my mind the only way to be a good singer, I didn't seem to be very good at it. I didn't know that there was any other way to be a good singer. 
I loved performing, but there was a disconnect between what I wanted to do and what I could do. I was jealous of everyone who had what I didn't. But I was encouraged by my teachers to try a different kind of song. I hated singing it. It made me feel like a failure. I eventually realized that I could still be just as good or powerful or exciting to watch. I didn't love every second of learning how to sing with a more classical sound. Sometimes I wanted to go back to trying to be someone that I wasn't. But in the long run, I found that my problem wasn't that I couldn't belt. It was that I couldn't sing like anyone else. My voice didn't sound like a recording of Laura Bell Bundy because my voice wasn't Laura Bell Bundy's. It was mine. If there's one thing I wish someone had told me earlier, it's that there are so many people worth admiring, but there is no one or no group of artists or people worth basing yourself off of. And even though I thought my peers would think I sounded silly, it turns out your peers will appreciate your skill if you can appreciate your skill. Love what you're good at, be proud of what you're good at, and others will be proud of it too. I've learned a lot in my time at McGuffin. I've learned about telling stories. The beauty of theater is that everyone has a story to tell, and that gives you insight into who they are. As actors, we learn to sympathize with even the most unlikely characters. This is something that has really changed how I live my life. I've learned that you can't lead, and you can't be a lead until you are a leader. Perhaps the most important thing I've learned in McGuffin is that your peers are not your competition, they are your best gift. Theater offers a kind of collab collaboration that is irreplaceable. Finding harmonies, moving together, making people laugh or cry, there's no better way to share and create human emotion. I have been inspired in the most incredible way by my friends and castmates here. I have been inspired by so many amazing alum, like Michaela Shuckman, Allie Boyle, Meredith Brandt, and Sarah Shefflin, and so many more. <laughs> I've had the privilege of being in the same way he is. I need it. It's okay. <laughs> I have been part of the singing Bohemians for four years with the amazingly talented Katie Brown, Jess Boyle, Alex Giganti, El Mari. God, God. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Kayla Warren, and of course, all the current members. I love you guys. <laughs> and best of all, <laughs> I've had the inspiration that comes from working so closely with this one guy's work. And I especially want to thank her. God, I promised I was going to do this. It's so annoying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Isabel is and always has been so amazingly talented. I think we all recognize that. But Isabel is also one of the most dedicated and committed actors I performed with. She's loyal to her craft and to MacGuffin in a way that we should all aspire to be. She's a leader in every show in the same way he means. Performing alongside her has pushed me to work harder and dig deeper. The chance to perform with and be friends with people like Isabel is the reason that MacGuffin is a special place. Borrow your friends' trips. Absorb their energy and cherish their friendship. Thank you, Isabel, and all of the amazing actors I've gotten to work with here. You are MacGuffin. Beyond my peers, I'm incredibly grateful to all the people who make McGuffin what it is. The parents who contribute so much and who come to all of our shows, the board, the amazing Joy Orlin, and Dittness, Dittness and Majuda Kareitu, and all the other amazing people I have not had the pleasure to work with. And of course, Liz and John, thank you, Liz, for being the perfect combination of nurturing and tough. Mm -hmm. I have learned more from you than I can ever tell you about the importance of supporting one another and growing as a cast and company. Thank you for seeing things in me that others didn't. Tybalt is in a role that many directors would think to give me, but it has been one of the most formative experiences in my acting career thus far. You have repeatedly helped me to realize potential in myself that I didn't know was there. Thank you for all the lessons and support. John, I'm endlessly grateful to you for teaching me about dedication and discipline, for always pushing me to work a little harder, make it a little better be a leader. Every time I take a step back when I'm working on a piece, I realize that almost everything I know about acting has come from John Ray. I am grateful that John Ray has made McGuffin the place that it is, a place where every actor from the youngest to the oldest knows that we have the ability to be outstanding 
and put on a show that is as good as any you'll see. Thank you for pushing me. Thank you for leading me in the right direction, but never giving me the answers. I couldn't have asked for any better teachers. And finally, I can't leave the stage without thanking my family, Kate. Thank you for opening the door to theater, always making me laugh with your crazy songs and dance shows, <laughs> and being my favorite sister, Dad, for inspiring me to. Yeah. Uh, Dad, for inspiring me to be fearless and for those musical genes, and my mom for all of her acting advice and supporting me endlessly. Thank you for driving me all over the place and supporting all of my crazy decisions. Thank you so much. I'll be back. <laughs>